Hi, welcome to the Splendor video tutorial entitled X, Y, and Z axis. Blender defines three-dimensional space as encompassing an area which borders along an X, Y, and Z axis. Before I demonstrate this, I suggest that you open up a new default Blender scene. Make sure it is a default Blender scene. Click on File in the Information header and select User Preferences. Under the Interface tab, increase the Display Mini Axis to size 25. Then click on Save as Default. This will display the Mini X, Y, Z axis in the lower right corner of your 3D viewport in an easy to read size. Now, to demonstrate Blender's X, Y, and Z axes, I will go to Front View, Numpad 1, open the right 3D viewport panel, close the left 3D viewport panel, and control up arrow into full screen. Notice that in front orthographic view, there is a blue and red axis icon in the lower left corner of the 3D viewport. This indicates the axis directions for the front orthographic viewport. When I right-click select the cube object, a default translate or move manipulator widget appears in the center of the cube displaying a red and blue arrow. These arrows correspond to the red and blue axis indicator icon in the bottom left of the viewport. If I click on the red arrowhead and drag my mouse, I can move the cube along the x-axis, which is left and right in front view. Notice that as I do this, the X value in the Transform Location panel updates the position along the X axis. If I click on the blue arrowhead and drag my mouse, I can move the cube object along the Z axis, which is in front view, up and down. Notice that the Z axis Transform Location panel updates as I move the cube along the Z axis. I'm going to slowly rotate this scene so that you can see it more dimensionally. Notice that as I do, you can see the third axis direction, which is the green Y axis. Notice also that the mini axis icon shows all three axes, red X, green Y, and blue Z. I will press numpad 3 and go to side orthographic view. Because I'm looking at the cube straight on from the right side, I can only move the cube in the Y and Z directions. This is indicated by the mini axis icon in the lower left of the viewport. If I click on the green arrowhead and drag my mouse, I can move the cube along the Y axis, which is left to right in side view. Notice that as I do this, the Y value in the transform location panel updates the Y axis location. If I click on the blue arrowhead and drag my mouse, I can move the cube along the Z axis, which in side view and in front view is up and down. Notice the Z axis transform location panel updates as I move the cube along the Z axis. I'm going to slowly rotate this scene so that you can see it more dimensionally. Notice that as I do, you can see the third axis direction, which is the red X axis. Notice also that the mini axis icon shows all three axes, red X, green, yellow, Y, and blue, Z. I'll press numpad 7 and go to orthographic view. Because I'm looking at the cube straight down from above, I can only move the cube in the X and Y directions. This is indicated by the mini axis icon in the lower left of the viewport. If I click on the green arrowhead and drag my mouse, I can move the cube along the Y axis, which is up and down in top view. Notice that as I do this, the Y value in the transform location panel updates. If I click on the red arrowhead and drag my mouse, I can move the cube along the X axis, which in top view and in front view is left and right. Notice that the X-axis transform location panel updates as I move the cube along the X-axis. I'm going to slowly rotate the scene so you can see it more dimensionally. 
Notice that as I do, you can see the third axis direction, which is the blue Z axis. Notice also that the mini axis icon shows all three axes, red X, green Y, and blue Z.